what players play and formations you play, then things don't matter if, um, if you're not competing. And um, I didn't didn't like us in the duels. I didn't like us in the one v ones. Even things like tackling. You know, you look at it around around the goals, and um, um, it, it just wasn't at the competitive level that it needs to to be. And you know, if anything, the disallowed goal should have been the warning sign. So um, we just weren't aggressive enough in the first half. Um, our second half, we were much better. There's no doubt about that. And um, um, we were on the front foot and we did play with, with more competitiveness and, and aggression. And because of that, we, we had some decent moments. So did they. We shouldn't ignore that. But, you know, we've um, forced us made some saves and set pieces and, like you said, missed penalty goals. So, so um, you know, we just generally looked a better team in, in, in the second half. But, I, you know, I get it. Spurs maybe a little bit deep because they're 2-0 two, two up. So I understand that. We were always going to run the risk of a counter-attack. In the, in the second half, the way the game was looking, and that did happen. But, um, but yeah, it was just like the frustration really is around the first half and, and the stuff I just mentioned that we should have been better at. Um, and the like, second half was definitely more positive, but in the end, we gave ourselves too much to do. Mm. Steve, it, it seemed like a bad day for injuries for you as well. Mm. The tendency of the warm up would have to go off. But like Brennan had got a knock when he came off. So. Yeah, no, Bre Brennan's. Um, yeah, so I'll go through it. Um, yeah, Wayne felt his knee, um, so he was unable to go on the bench. Um, Brennan has come off with a groin strain, um, which um, which we don't know how how bad it is yet, but um, uh, we'll see over the next day or two. We'll obviously, he'll obviously have to have a scan tomorrow. Um, and um, Woody was just so unfortunate. He goes on in his first moment in the game. He gets a really bad knock to his thigh which really swells up like you wouldn't believe instantly and um, he tried to carry on with it but it was just impossible when I saw when he came to the halfway line and he and I saw it I, I knew that he wouldn't be able to carry on even though that he tried so that was really unfortunate so uh, yeah it didn't help um, but at the same time you know the, the first half performance really is the, the defining phase of the game in terms of the result Yeah, yeah. So yeah, of course. Yeah, he's, you know, he's been, is, is, and has been a really important player for us. So, uh, but we'll we'll see how he is. You know, let's uh, let's see if he settles down. See what the scan says, and you know, fingers crossed. It's um, it's not you know as severe as sometimes these injuries ca can be, as we know. So, um, um, we'll see. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it is a frustration, yeah, because we just, like I said, we looked a more sort of dynamic and aggressive team in the second half, and that was just down to doing the non-negotiables a little bit better. So, um, but there's still some guys that in the second half that played in the first half as well, so it wasn't just the, the guys that came on. Um, yeah, I repeat, like, you know, the first half, it was, it was the phase of the game where, the, where ultimately the result was, 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 was defined because of, um, you know, because we just need to be a bit, well, not a bit, a lot more competitive than what we were. Um, no, it, it's 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 a non-negotiable. It's whatever game you play at any level. It's it's you know what changes you got the levels is the quality. Obviously, in Spurs, is full of quality. You know, Kane, etc., etc., etc. So, um, so we always knew it was going to be tough today. But um, you have to compete and you have to back yourselves and. Um, you know, I shouldn't really be talking about it, but for me, that was the the big um, attribute to the game first half that we didn't do well enough, and and it cost us. Steve, you just spoke about Spurs' quality. Mm. Um, I might have been stupid, but do you almost feel like a bit of a missed opportunity given that late penalty? I think I think it's a missed opportunity in play in terms of playing better. I don't, I'm not going to say missed opportunity in terms of coming in and getting the three points because that would have been would have been tough, although possible, and it's something obviously we we, we wanted to do, but. Um, but definitely a missed opportunity in, in playing better because of the reasons that, that, that I said. And we, you, you, you don't need to give Spurs opportunities, but we, and we did. So, um, yeah, that's, so that's where the missed opportunity is, is just in the first half. And like I said, being a bit more aggressive, being a bit more on the front foot, that's, what, that's where the missed opportunity is. And I said that to the lads straight after the game. Steve, I, I hope you don't mind me asking this. No, no problem. Match of the day seems to be dominating everything. You might be pleased not to have anyone... Analyzing your first half, by the sound hmm. of it, but um, can, can you give us your thoughts on, on what's happened with that and your thoughts on the program?
Yeah, do you know I've not rep- with with respect. Uh, uh, it's a match day, and I tend to not pay attention to to anything. I, I hope you can understand that. It's just my way, you know, in terms of of, of the phone, and um, I'm not a massive um, media follower anyway. I've said that respectfully in in a press conference. So um, um, I haven't really got anything to add, you know, that that would add any any sort of um, adequate contribution. Um, but it's maybe something if I if I need to look at it and make comment about, I'm I'm sure I'll do it in due, in due course. Safe journey, safe journey. Thank you.